What's up everybody, this is Karai Koda, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the top 3 best video editing softwares as of 2016 that you guys can use that are completely free. Now a lot of you guys have been telling me to do a top 5, but I realized that top 5 is very hard to do because there's a lot of uh, free ones that are very bad. A lot of these video editing softwares contain watermarks, so I narrowed it down to the top 3 best free video editing softwares with no watermarks and that are very good. So these softwares you guys can use for color grading and doing all cool stuff and effects. So let's get started. Coming at number 3 of the list, we have a program called Shotcut Video Editor. Now Shotcut Video Editor comes both in Microsoft Windows and Mac and it's a very good beginner video editing software. Uh, if you guys are starting into YouTube or you guys are doing acoustic, or you guys are making music, whatever it is, uh, it can basically edit anything. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a recap of how this works. When you open up Shotcut, you just click on Timeline and make sure you have the timeline opened up and active. Next, you're going to want to click here where it says a display menu of additional uh, options. Click add video track and you're also going to want to add an audio track. Now, once you guys got that done to import your media files on the top left corner of the screen, all you guys got to do is click the open file, find your media. For instance, I'm going to pick this movie pop file and go ahead and just drag it into the timeline. Now, if you guys have a voiceover, if you're doing gameplay or you guys uh, are putting music, you guys can even add your own audio file in there and drag it underneath the uh, video. And then you guys can go ahead and basically adjust the sound. So you guys can fix the sound levels. Uh, there's a bar you can just drag up and down to level it so it's not too loud. But what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and show you guys some filters you could put in your video. So if you click on the filters right here next to the timeline and you click the plus button, you guys can see there's a lot of filters. We're going to add in a fade in video and a fade out video. So the video fades in and out uh, when you're playing it. And we're also going to add a color grading. Now with color grading, what this is, you basically can mess around with the colors. So if you're doing DSLR shots like I did, uh, you guys are re recording real life things or you have any movies in mind, you can just go ahead and adjust the color, the saturation, and basically make it look really nice as you guys can see right here. And that's that. And um, it makes it look pretty cool and you guys can do other visual effects. I'm not going to get into every uh, tiny details uh, because I don't want to make this video too long, but you guys get the idea. Uh, you guys can look at tutorials all over YouTube if you want to know how to use a shortcut video editor. Now to export and render your file, all you guys got to do is click the export button next to the filters right here. And you're going to want to make sure you select the H.264 high profile option and on format, make sure it's an MP4. This is very important, so make sure you save it as an MP4 and you're going to want to adjust the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Once you got that done on a frame rate per second, depending on what you're recording with, uh, put 29.970 and on scan mode, make sure it's on progressive. It's going to be on interlaced at first, so change that to progressive and click on the codec tab next to video and make sure you up the GOP or the actually the quality from 60 to 70%. And on rate control, make sure it's on quality based variable bit rate. What this does, it basically gives the best bit rate for your video and makes it look nice. When you're done, just click on export file, go ahead and uh, click desktop. Put in the file name and click save and you guys can see right here here's your render status on your jobs uh, this is how much percentage is done and when you're done rendering it's gonna say done now once you guys got that done you can go ahead and uh, now open up the file and as you guys can see here it is the rendered out video with the uh, color grading on there you guys can cut the tracks you guys can do whatever you guys want and that's how it looks like all right and you see you can fade out there you go coming at number two of the list we have a program called DaVinci Resolve 12.5. This is also a very good video editor. Um, and the reason I like this is because it's very good and it's packed with a lot more features than Shotcut. These are both good uh, programs, but when you guys go to the download page, you're just going to have to enter some fake information and then uh, go ahead and click register and download. Now, um, when you guys download this, uh, it might be confusing at first, but there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube. But again, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a recap on how this works. So it's going to be into a zip file. Uh, if you guys are on Windows, uh, you're going to see it's going to be a .zip. And to fix that, to extract it, you just right click and click on Extract DaVinci Resolve 12.5. And go inside that, double click the application, install it like you would in any other program. Make sure you tick this box uh, if you don't have the Visual C++ installed. And that's that. And just let it install. When it's open, you guys are going to see the interface right here which is uh, pretty basic and it's pretty also advanced. So we're gonna go ahead and import a video. You just drag it into right here. You guys can see four tabs right here. You guys got uh, these tabs. And what we're gonna now do is go ahead and 
drag this whoops hold on go ahead and click on edit and you guys want to go ahead and click right here and drag it into the timeline and you guys are gonna see two separate uh, tracks you have your video track and your audio track like I said I'm not gonna get too much into detail with uh, every feature but uh, when you click on color like we did in the other program you can go ahead and adjust the way the colors look which is very awesome um, apart from that I'm gonna show you guys on how you can also add text so if you're wondering how you can add text onto your videos it's super simple so when you click right here you're gonna go ahead and click on library right here and make sure that you guys go ahead and click on text drag the text up there and there you go now we can go ahead and adjust the text so where it says title just title it to whatever you guys want I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it and put down 370z exhaust there you go of course you can adjust the text to your likings so if you guys want to go ahead and change the font you have all the fonts there and all that good stuff DaVinci is a very good program and uh, the reason why I like it is because just like Shotcut Video Editor, it's completely free. You don't have any watermarks and the developers did a very good job on keeping it free and basically allowing the public to make videos because not all of us have money, not all of us can afford Sony Vegas Pro 13 and a lot of us want to start on simple but that's that. So when you export your file, you guys can go ahead and uh, select Vimeo, YouTube or you guys can uh, input your own custom settings. And you guys can just follow what I'm doing on the screen and add it to our render queue. Once you guys got that done, you just go ahead and uh, start the render. And you guys can see your video files rendering. And that's that. This is a good software uh, video editor. If you guys are really looking into getting into YouTube seriously, go ahead and check that out. Now we're going to go ahead and come to number one of the list. Coming at number one of the list, we have what is called HitFilm Express 4. HitFilm Express 4 is a very, very, very good program for video editing. Now, the reason why I like HitFilm 4 Express uh, is because it has all the features that you guys can use for visual effects editing and it's very similar to Sony Vegas Pro. Now, when you're on the download page, you just go ahead and uh, create an account. Uh, what you guys can do is use a disposable email address like I did in the video. So, uh, if you guys don't know, there's a site called Yotemail where you guys can basically go ahead and... Uh, use a disposable email so you guys don't have to enter your real information so when you click send me the download and as you guys can see when I go on Yelp mail I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign in just to a random account click check inbox you're going to see right here when I refresh it it's going to say hitfilm.com download express 4 and you can download it for Microsoft uh, Windows or Mac whichever one you guys have it is an exe file so you just go ahead and let it download and run it and there you guys go hitfilm 4 express all right now, coming into HitFilm 4 Express, uh, the reason why I like this, like I said earlier, it has a lot of visual effects you guys can do. Uh, if you look all over YouTube, you guys have a Harry Potter visual effects. You can make gun visual effects. So if you guys are looking into real world editing and you guys want to go ahead and make awesome movies, HitFilm 4 Express is a very good program to start with. Now, to import a file, you go right here, click import, and go ahead and import your uh, media file. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and import my audio track as well. And what we're going to do next is drag in the uh, MP4 to the timeline. Uh, click yes, and there you go. There's two separate tracks. You guys can see video and audio right there. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a color balance again, like I did in the other two softwares that we used earlier. So go ahead and adjust the shadows. Now for this video, I found out that negative 56 on a red balance, negative uh, 24 on a green balance, and negative 14 on a blue balance gives it a nice uh, look. On the right side, you guys can see the before and after. So when we play it, here it is. That's how it's going to look like. Now, the cool part about HitFilm 4 Express is that uh, you guys can do a lot of things like split uh, tracks right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the slice tool. We're going to go ahead and cut. Let's see, zoom in a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and cut the video right there. Get the little move tool and position it. So apart from cutting and all that stuff, uh, like I said, you guys can do a lot of visual editing and there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube on how to use HitFilm 4 Express, which will really get you into a pro grade uh, in a couple weeks of learning, which is awesome. So let me go ahead and play it. You guys can see, bam, we just cut the part of the audio track and it looks nice. Good colors, uh, good audio adjusted. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is now we'll make a right click and make a composition shot. And if you guys want to learn how to make a text, I'm going to show you that right now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click on a text tool, make a little rectangle and under the box, we're going to go ahead and type in some text. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Nissan. Uh, whoops, 370Z exhaust. There you go. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the text to one of my favorite fonts. We're gonna go ahead and click here, click text, and select a different color. I'm gonna go ahead and click blue for this video example. Uh, text, I'm gonna go ahead and select on American Captain. And this is how you guys can position it, right here. There you go. Now you guys can see, here's the text. Now if you wanna make it stand out more, you guys can go ahead and go back to effects and type in drop shadow. Click on drop shadow and just basically drag it into the timeline. And you guys are going to see a drop shadow on a text, which makes the text pop out more, which is pretty cool. Now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and click on export. Go to MP4, make sure your settings are just like mine, and bam, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the top three best free video editing softwares. If this helped out, please leave a thumbs up below. I worked really hard for this video. And from that, I'll see you guys next time.